Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to today's video. So very excited because I have all eight shades of the brand new Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Lip Blur. It is a matte, it says matte meets moisture liquid lipstick. And I love a good liquid lipstick. I know a lot of people don't like them. I love them because I love stuff that lasts. And um, I've been very, this is, was kind of, I guess, spoiled a couple of weeks ago, but um, just so excited. And Charlotte Tilbury actually sent me all eight shades of this brand new liquid lipstick, and I'm gonna try them all out today. Okay, so normally when I do these videos, there's information already out on the website. It's not on the website, um, and it just hasn't been released yet. It's supposed to be announced when this video is going up. So I am just kind of going, I had to like search for information, but this is what I found. It says that the new Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush, Airbrush Fawz Lip Blur is a matte meets moisture liquid lipstick that's perfect for summer where it blurred by gently blotting the edges with your ring finger for just a for a just bitten look or wear it bold as full coverage liquid lipstick with one swipe color payoff. So again, as I mentioned, there's eight shades and um, the eight shades are going to be Honey Blur, which is a honey nude with a peachy undertone, Nude Blur, which is a nude, Pillow Talk Blur, which is a nude pink, Pillow Talk Medium Blur, a berry pink, Ruby Blur, which is a ruby red, Flame Blur, which is a hot orange red, Walk of No Shame, which is a berry rose, and Rose Blur, which is a rose. So I am going to be trying all eight shades out. My lips are going to be raw as soon as we are done, but I'm um, very excited. I'm gonna go light to darkest because these tend to stain the lips. And um, yeah, we'll just kind of go through all of them. And, um, but let's go, let's start first with some swatches. Okay, so before we get into the swatches, um, obviously you saw the packaging. Um, you can kind of see it here with the lights, there we go. Um, you know, it's got that airbrush. It has the same like, like um, angel wings that uh, some of the other airbrush products have. The actual product here it is. And there is, I don't know if you can see this, it has like this beautiful embossing on the top here. Really, really pretty. It is, um, you can definitely feel it. It's really nice. So I do really love the packaging. I believe these are going to run $35. I'm not 100% sure, but that was what I saw, but I couldn't see it on the Charlotte Tilbury website. So I believe it's going to be $35 each. And again, eight shades. So, but the packaging is really beautiful. So we'll go ahead and do the swatches in the same order that they are in the swatch picture that I was able to find. And we can look at the applicator here as well. So here is the applicator. And we'll start, this is going to be Honey Blur. Next is Nude. After that, we have Pillow Talk Blur. And this is Pillow Talk Medium Blur. Next, we have Ruby Blur. Next is Flame Blur. Next is Walk of No Shame Blur. And finally, Rose Blur. So there you have it. Just kind of spread this one out a little bit. There you have it. So those are my swatches as opposed to the ones that I found. Um, yeah, definitely some darker colors here. These I kind of run, especially the first three, they're very similar. I'm curious to see how they're gonna look on the lips. So let's let's start trying them on. Okay, so I'm gonna be lining my lips with the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Iconic Nude. One of my favorites, obviously I love Pillow Talk, but Iconic Nude is a great neutral um, lip liner. So I'm gonna start with the shade Nude Blur. I'm sorry, I'm gonna start with the shade Honey Blur. And uh, I'm gonna start with this one and just apply it and we'll see how it applies. This is gonna be the first one. I have not tried these at all. Um, they go on really nice. Well, they're very opaque. So very, very nice. Okay, so this is Honey Blur and it's a very like warm tone. Um, and as far as the formula, it doesn't, 
it's definitely matte obviously it's supposed to be a matte lipstick but it doesn't feel drying it still hasn't dried down yet so i'm gonna try and see if it dries down because yeah it's still there's still some transfer right now so it still hasn't completely dried down but with that with saying that it's also not drying my lips if that makes sense because sometimes if they dry really fast they're very very drying so I'm gonna give this one a little bit a little time and see how it settles and see how long it takes to to dry down and then also if it if it starts to transfer okay so fortunately as I'm filming it just hit the app because the app is obviously in UK time so even though it's like 11 p.m. Uh, Eastern time it has already hit the app because it's in UK. So uh, this is the Honey Blur and this is described as a warm peach nude. So I will say it's not drying at all. Like I do not feel it drying at all. With that said, it's not completely transfer proof from what I can see. So I'm gonna, so it's a little bit, there's a little bit coming off. Now I've been wearing it probably four or five minutes um, so it hasn't, you know, I think it's pretty much dried down. So it's dried down, you know, a lot and not that much transferred. But with that said, it's not drying. So when you don't like that, like where it just crackles your, your lips and you feel like you, you need to put some, something on your lips because it's so drying, it's not like that. It is, it is, it is described as, you know, a matte meets moisture perfect description because it's very very um it, it i won't say it's moisturizing but it's not drying so uh, it, it is um it definitely is again not moisturizing but it's not drying either so it's very comfortable as what i would say um with that said if you don't like the matte look then you're not gonna like these i love a matte lipstick i love how it looks i can you know pair this up with a gloss put it over and it's gonna look really nice but it's also, you know, these tend to last longer. So, but super comfortable. So this is Honey Blur. Got seven more shades to go. Okay, next up is going to be Nude Blur. And this one is described as a true nude. That's just exactly what it's described. And let's just apply it on. Okay, and here you have Nude Blur. Beautiful, beautiful nude shade. Really like this, I really like this one. It's nude, but it's still got some punch to it. It's not too light. I really like it. I think it's just a beautiful, a beautiful shade. Okay, next up we have Pillow Talk Blur. And this is the one I think is probably going to be the most popular. And it is described just as her suits all, um, new, is it nude pink? Yes, her suits all nude pink. Okay, and here is Pillow Talk Blur. This is absolutely beautiful. Very, very similar. And I'll compare the Pillow Talk um, lipstick to this one as well at the end. But I think it's very comparable. It seems to be, you know, very, very similar to that shade. Okay, next up is going to be Pillow Talk Medium. So this one is described, well, let's see what it's described as. Okay, it is described as a very pink liquid lipstick. And again, this is Pillow Talk Medium. So same reminds me very much of the same one of the matte revolution um you know same shade just oh i have a little bit there um but just you know a liquid lipid format and one of the things i like about it is you can kind of just go over it and kind of smooth it out it's one of the, one of the things it you know you do it doesn't dry down too fast so i do kind of smooth it out um so you can do that too and you can kind of build up the intensity so that's one of the things I also noticed is that if you wanted to build the intensity, you can. Um, but this is Pillow Talk Medium. Okay, four down and four to go. Next up is going to be Rose Blur and it is described as a deep rose pink. Okay, so this one, I didn't expect to like as much as I do, but this one is absolutely stunning. Um, again, a deep, this is Rose Blur, a deep rose pink. I think it's beautiful. Okay, next up is going to be Walk of No Shame, which is also another shade that she has in her, I think, Matte Revolution formula. And this is described as a berry red. Okay, and this is Walk of No Shame. Really pretty. Um, definitely more red than I remember the lipstick being. Um, you know, I, I feel like the, the lipstick was more 
berry than red, but I still really like it. Okay, next up we have Flame Blur. And if I forget, they all have blur at the end of the name if you haven't noticed, but this is an orange red lipstick. Ooh, that's bright. Okay, and here is Flame Blur. This one is bright. <laughs> um, this is not my cup of tea. Beautiful, um, really nice, went on really nice. And one of the things I will tell you is the applicator, the way that the applicator is, it's so thin. If you can see the top is so thin um, that you can use it as a liner. So if you don't have a liner, I'm only using my Iconic Nude, but I'm also lining the lips with the tip of it because it's so small, which I really like. It goes on really nice. So this is Flame Blur. Um, a little bright for me, but you know, it's still pretty. It's probably for someone. And finally, we have Ruby Blur, which is a true ruby red. And here we go. Okay, and here is Ruby Blur. So this is definitely a ruby red. Uh, I got a little bit up there, but I mean, beautiful, beautiful red lipstick. Um, Again, I've talked about this before. I am not a red lipstick person, but if you are, I really like this shade. Um, the only one I probably didn't like is Flame, but I'm not an orange red type person anyway, and I don't really like so much red. I'm not sure if I like the ruby, if for the reds, I'm not sure if I like Walk of No Shame or the ruby red. I'm kind of leaning towards the ruby. I don't know. Um, probably when I look back, I'll watch them, but this is Ruby Blur. Okay, so my initial first impressions of these are, they're gorgeous. They're, um, they're actually, I won't say they're not what I expected, but I really didn't know what to expect because I hadn't really seen too much information on them, but they're where I would say they're not what I expected is that they are matte, but they aren't drying and they're not the typical liquid lipstick where it dries down, not transfer proof. So, um, first of all, I love this, this Ruby. I mean, it's kind of, again, not a red lipstick person, but really liking this one, but it's not a traditional like liquid lipstick, I would say that. Um, also love the applicator. Like I said, that point at the top is really nice because you can use it to line your lips. So if you don't have, like you got a red, but you don't have a red li liner, you can use that. That's what I did and it worked really, really well. Um, I think the applicator is great. So they're very comfortable. Now I don't know yet about longevity because I just got them, right? And I was switching back and forth, but they're very comfortable on the lips. Now I'm saying if you're looking for a completely transfer proof liquid lipstick, this is probably not it. But if you're looking for a nice matte liquid lipstick that's comfortable on the lips, this could be it. Um, I love the shades. Uh, the first four shades I thought when I swatched them looked very similar, but on the lips I thought they looked very different. So um, those are definitely gonna be my four favorites. I'll be curious to see when I watch it back which ones I like when I see it on film and in, in the camera. But I am, I'm hooked on these. I think they're gonna be great. I'm okay, so my battery died, so I don't know where I stopped off, but I was gonna say, we're going to Disney in two weeks and this is what I'll be wearing in the parks because uh, I don't like to reapply a lot and I love a good liquid lipstick, but this is very comfortable. So what I do wanna do really quick right now is I have the, the new Jewel Lips. This is the Pink Gasm Sunset. So I am just going to put this over top and you can see here, this one is the one that is not, it's got some color, but it's not too, it doesn't have too much color, but I wanted to show you what it kind of looks like with, and I'm gonna see it for myself. So just to kind of see how it wears on top of the, um, of the uh, new lip blur. Okay, so that is the Pinkasm Sunset on top of the Ruby, <laughs> the Ruby blur. And really pretty combo, um, just, yeah, it just juices it up. Just, yeah, love it. So um, these are, I actually really like these. These last really, I've been using these quite a bit. Um, probably using the uh, Pinkasm more than the uh, Pinkasm Sunset, ironically, but they run, they last really, really long and they leave a great shine. So kind of an update on those, but paired really nicely with this. So I'm really curious to pair the Pinkasm 
with the four lighter shades because I think that's going to be a nice, you know, if you want a matte lip, great, but if you also want to juice it up a little bit, you can add one of these jewel lips, which I think will be really pretty. Um, these are available on the Charlotte Tilbury app. There's a brand new app um, on June 13th, which is when this video is going live. I'm actually filming, it's almost June, it's in 15 minutes, it's June 13th. So uh, you can buy it on the app. I don't know when it's going to be available on the website, and I believe they will be eventually available in Sephora. But I don't know when, but um, they should be, but they're being released first on the app. Um, and if you've never purchased from Charlotte Tilbury before, you can use my promo code, which is Shannon F and then FA012, and that's going to save you 15% off of your order. So as long as it's um, not a bundle, so it's not a, a discounted bundle, but if it's a full price item, then you can save 15%. So um, I think these are definitely wor worth checking out. One, if you like a matte lip, um, or you like a liquid lipstick, I think these are definitely worth checking out. If you don't like liquid lipsticks, or you don't like um, a matte look, then maybe these aren't for you. However, if you've never liked a, li a liquid lipstick because they're too dry on your lips, then maybe you wanna check one of these out because they are not, I'm telling you that they're not drying at all. Like I do not feel like they're drying at all. They're very juicy. However, because of that, they're not, they are going to transfer some somewhat. So they're not completely like transfer proof. That's the trade-off, but definitely worth checking out. Um, I'm personally very excited about these. So with that, um, and then I will say they were gifted to me, but this video is not sponsored, but they were, um, I did receive these in PR. So with that, if you like this video, click like, click and subscribe. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. Bye everyone.